Algebra 2, 4.4a, Systems of Equations Ordered Triple. If you haven't seen the previous videos for Chapter 4, you might get confused. I've got links to 4.1 and 4.2a, b, c, and d in this video's description so you can watch them. The graph of a linear equation in two variables makes a line, and the two variables x and y make an ordered pair. Well, we know that, right? Well, the graph of a linear equation in three variables makes a plane. The three variables x, y, and z make an ordered triple. Does that make sense? An ordered pair is two, like a pair of shoes, and a triple is three. When we have one variable, like x, then we have a 1D line, and we have a point on that line, so that could be x on the line. When we have two variables, it makes a 2D plane, like where x and y meet, so that's two variables, and it's like a sheet of paper. That's two-dimensional. One-dimensional would just be this line. Well, when we have three variables, we have 3D, and it actually would be graphed on a plane that looks like this. Can you imagine having to graph something on that? See? So it's actually three sheets of paper. We've got one piece of paper here, another one here crossing it, and another one here coming through the middle of the other two. See that? So that's three variables. It would be graphed on a plane that looks like that. In the ordered triple, three halves, negative four, and three is a solution of this system of three equations. It's a solution for x, y, and z for all of these equations. If a system of equations in three variables has a unique solution, like this, that solves all of them, it's a graphed point that's common to all of the planes. So that means we'd have to find out where 3 halves, negative 4, and 3 met in one spot on this huge 3D plane. The solution to a system of three equations and three variables is either a plane, a line, or a point that'll be a unique solution for that system on this 3D plane. Now many three-dimensional systems have no solution. And because the plane is 3D, we can't solve a system of equations and three variables by graphing. It's, that was really kind of rough to make, and I didn't even make it as straight as I wanted to. You can see there's kind of like some curves, and the paper didn't quite go together right. So could you imagine every single time you wanted to do an, a, a math problem, you had to make one of these? doesn't make sense. So we don't do it by graphing, okay? So here's some facts for you. We must have two equations to solve a system and two variables. So here's a system in, here, with two equations, and we've got two variables, x and y. you got to have two equations to solve a system in two variables, okay? Keyword system. Systems of equations don't always have a unique solution. So remember, unique solution is that point where the lines will meet. No solution is if it's parallel lines, and if it's the same solution, they share the same line. See? The graph of a linear equation in three variables makes a plane. That's another fact. The graph of a linear equation in three variables makes a plane. And in a system of three equations, the ordered triple must make all three equations true. If the ordered triple only makes one or two of the equations true, it's not a solution for the system. And we can't solve a system of equations in three variables by graphing, because we don't readily have a bunch of these laying around for every single problem we do. So. We use substitution, elimination, linear combinations, and, in other words, we use algebra. So that's how we solve them. Okay, sorry about that. Focus. So, guess what? Our next video is 4.4b, and we're going to talk how to, about how to solve a system in three variables. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist so you can use it for review or studying. And... I'm going to put a link to the Algebra 1 Chapter 8 playlist for systems of equations, and it's all going to be in the description of this video. All right? So I hope this was enlightening. You now know what an ordered triple is. You now know what three variables would be graphed on. Maybe you can even try making one of those yourself. All right? So I'll see you next video, and let's solve some of these. All right? Keep your chin up. We can do this. Bye.